to me is Minecraft. Um, also, sorry, this might make you dizzy for a while. I might have to slow this down. Um, it's very fast. But, uh, essentially, I didn't realize that 1.21 was going to be coming out so soon. And we're only 20 days into the 100 days. Which seems insane. So, I'm doing this. I went mining for the full 10 days. I will say, for a while I didn't really know what day it was. I'm 90% certain. I either did less or more days than I was meant to. I don't think I got it exactly on 10. And that's going to be a running theme. I, For the next video, I've also already recorded the gameplay, just not a voiceover. Um, I think those are the only two videos that are going to be like this. Um, just out of necessity, I guess. I absolutely hate mining in Minecraft. Um, it's a little bit easier when I can just run around and do it without having to think or talk. Um, and if you're curious, I was listening to... I was literally just watching random videos by Possessed by Horror. Horror. I can't say the name, sorry. Possessed by Horror. Um, yeah, I like her videos a lot. I was just watching a bunch of random ones. I wasn't really paying attention to them, but, you know, nice background noise. Um, yeah, we just went mining for like 10 days straight because I kind of needed to. I didn't, like I was watching someone. They're full diamond armor. Um, and I was not, so. Yeah, as you can see, full iron. Um, now the first time I go into the mines, I'm actually pretty well prepared. First time is sort of foreshadowing for the amount of times I'm going to have to run back into the mine. Um, truly the most frustrating experience of my life. Um, and then in the video after this, I spent, what, like seven days, I want to say, in the nether trying to look for a single piece of soul sand. Um to make a water elevator to move a mob. So these next two episodes, I just really needed to record like this because there's no way. Also, like, I don't know, it's really infuriating. You don't want to, like, have to listen to me do this. I will say, sometimes I think because I'm not recording, I do stupid stuff, which you'll see later on. I'll point out what I'm about to do, the stupidest thing you've ever seen in your life. But just never get attached to the caving experience in this video. Um, God, it's awful. Um, but yeah, really just looking for diamonds, to be honest. But anything really, I, my main goal actually when going down for the first time was to look for uh, gold and um, gold and redstone. That's what it's called, gold and redstone, because... I wanted to make a clock so that I could know um, what time it was and whether or not I could sleep yet. Because um, I figured that would be an easier way to do it than, uh, than guessing. Because then I would absolutely forget to guess, right? So I did it like this instead. Um, just getting a lot of ores. Uh, yeah, this was one of the worst experience, mining experiences I've had in a long time. I think the worst being maybe in a series I did a while ago, um, was that every time you die you get a new origin. And I died in a cave because I did something stupid. It's just, yeah, caving is not as fun now that the caves are like this and like don't get me wrong i prefer the caves being like this i think they look really cool they're fun to ex well that's the main problem i hate exploring them that's my main problem um yeah to me they are not fun to explore but you know it's uh it's okay <laughs> i prefer them looking like this um, although I would absolutely love it if we could up the diamond rate because it's actually insane. Although I say that, I get enough diamonds in this video for two full sets of diamond armor and two full sets of tools. So, plus two more for an enchantment table. So, you know, I think there's enough diamonds, and that's without fortune. 
there is enough diamonds but it still still sucks to get them but yeah um honestly i was pretty prepared this time um and we really go for a while so this was recorded in two sessions um uh with a few weeks between them so it was one was recorded um like three weeks ago i think whenever the last video came out that was when the first half of this video was recorded um and I, that session that full session ends inside of a geode so whenever we end in a geode i'll point it out and then from there on it's three weeks later which doesn't make that much of a difference but it does a little bit because i don't know when it's one continuous mining session you kind of get into the flow versus if you break it up then one wrong one thing goes wrong and and suddenly everything's going wrong um yeah it kind of really sucked um yeah it was really bad i i will say there are a lot of really cool caves under here and after a certain amount of time i just stopped gathering iron and gold and anything that wasn't diamond um like literally i just walked past everything so i do think there are a lot of caves under the house that are completely lit up that are full of a bunch of stuff that i can go down and gather if i ever need it uh, which is nice obviously and yeah the massive mine shaft oh something <laughs> that i will say now i forgot to ever take down the coordinates of the house but i do have the coordinates to a mob spawner that is near the house um again foreshadowing <laughs> um but yeah that was a struggle as well i really do need to take down the coordinates of the house i still don't actually have them um but honestly the turns out the, the coordinates to this mob spawner are actually really close to the house a lot closer than it, i thought um and that's something i also discovered is that when we found the house like the place we decided to live we walked like a hundred blocks away from spawn what we did was we spent two and a half hours walking in a massive circle and then ended up a hundred blocks away from spawn um this is not the stupid thing i was actually pretty proud of myself there i will say this is what i do when i i never really think making a mob spawner out of um spiders is worth it unless there's a lot of spawners in one area and obviously by the time i find that actually there's like four in this one small area i've already break broken the other three so there's no point in actually taking it which kind of sucks i did find another mob spawner another zombie one kind of hoping for a skeleton one at some point because that would be great um but yeah we got some good stuff um <laughs> doesn't matter yeah so this is the this was the unfortunate bit when i realized oh in this very small area there were three spider spawners and one zombie spawner but i didn't really see a point in keeping it to be honest once i because the spider and the zombie uh, nah, wasn't a point in keeping it at that point um but yeah we're just running around i think i had run out, yeah i'd run out of coal so i was looking for coal because i had oh and torches there that's why i was staying in the what is it called the mine shaft that's why i was staying in the mine shaft like that even though i could have left um or maybe i should have left um but yeah just kept finding diamonds as well it's actually really nice the mine shafts are a big area that's like excavated so you get to be able to see a lot of area it's nice um yeah i don't even really um have much to say about the mine shaft portion of the video um it was honestly just a very lucky find i think we got a lot of diamonds from inside the mine shaft a lot of <laughs> a lot of name tags and stuff um don't get attached to them i think this is where i end in a minute i think down here there's a, a geode 
I sat there and broke five and a half shields, which took, I think, about three in-game days. Um, and it was awful. <laughs> it was genuinely it was the worst. But I did it, and then I had to get him up to the house. And oh my god, because here's the thing, when I say passive, I mean passive. He's not even trying to attack me anymore. He just kind of wanders around, so he, they don't follow you once their crossbows are gone. So I had to take him in a boat, and then I had to make a water elevator, but I don't have soul sand. So I had to go and get soul sand, and that's the majority of the next video is me gathering so well, trying to get soul sand. Um, not gathering it, trying to find it. <laughs> um, and when I finally do find it, I then have to make my way back. What's funny is mining my way back, I actually found ancient debris, only one piece. Which is not even enough to make a single bit of netherite, but still it was really funny. <laughs> I was like, what? Hello, I guess. I guess we're doing this now. Yeah, it sucked. It took me... Because I don't even know how you count days in the nether. Um, in a vanilla world, you just actually count the days. But in a multiplayer world, first of all... Well, yeah, first of all, in a multiplayer world, the days would not be the days that you are playing. It would be the days the server has been on for. But even that, this server doesn't show the days at all. Um, so literally no information at all. Um, I have no idea how many days there are. Um, and this is where I made the stupidest mistake on the planet. I'm actually really smart, and then I do something really stupid, um, which I'll point out in a second. Yeah, this is wild to me. You actually can barely tell on camera, but I was, um, as I was walking across the thing, I looked back because I was like, what if a creeper falls down? And then I spotted two veins of diamonds, um, which I go to get here, which I really struggled to get. Um, and yeah, it's about to be real stupid in, what is it, three, two, one, there we go. <laughs> I fell, I died, I lost everything. I managed to get my coordinates to the spawner, like I said, not my actual base. Uh, which was where I discovered that actually I don't live that far away from spawn. But yeah, I then had to run from spawn to the house, which was painful. Um, and I, you couldn't tell in the video, but what I could tell, when I fell, I heard things burn in lava. I already knew that I had definitely lost some stuff, which kind of sucked, but, um, yeah. As I was walking back, I don't know whose potato farm that is, I'm so sorry, I was staring to death. Um, I hope you don't mind, <laughs> but I stole some potatoes. Um, and then yeah, I discovered my house is literally right here. I'm not far from spawn at all, it takes like five minutes. Um, so I guess actually whoever's potato farm that is, they live right beside me, so maybe I could go give them potatoes back. Um, but yeah, I realized, oh yeah, I brought all my beds with me, I brought all of my everything with me. So I had to break a bit of the, the pillar to get a pickaxe and a sword. And then I said, okay, now we're just going down into the mine with nothing. Because I was panicking and I had so many diamonds, so much diamond things, that I was like, yeah, I've got to go and get that stuff back. This was my biggest downfall here. I wasted so much time. In my mind, this wasn't me going back in, potentially recovering my stuff, and then, right, uh, this is me checking, by the way, where I even entered, like, which cave I even entered through, um, it was not this cave that I'm in, um, but yeah, my plan was just to go in and get my stuff, rather than go in, start mining again, hopefully get the stuff back, because, I was just panicking. I didn't bring any spare tools. I didn't bring wood. I didn't bring anything. I didn't even bring torches, which was my biggest downfall, because I don't think I could have ever gotten that stuff back, but maybe I would have if it weren't for the fact that I went in with nothing. 
this video worse off than I when I had started, I will lose my mind. Um, so I was determined this time, and I had completely given up on the hope of ever getting the stuff back. So I really, this is where the days get muddled, because I no longer have my clock. So I have no idea what day this is. I'm not marking them, by the way, in this sped up time lapse. I counted at least eight days while doing it. There was at least eight, and then a couple uncounted for days while in the mines without knowing whether, you know, what time of day it is. So, I'm gonna say it was probably around ten days. It's the same with the next video. I spent, I think, thirty minutes in the nether. God, it's gotta be more than that. I spent a long time in the nether without any way of knowing whether it was day or night. Um, so I, oh, I found the diamond I had marked with the, the, um, furnaces, but I did not have enough iron yet, so I went and got that, and yeah, I was just, I was just going, I was annoyed, but anyway, yeah, the nether video in the next episode, I was in there for a very long time, um, like a very long time, it was at least, at least half an hour, I feel like longer, but I don't know. So I have no idea how many days I spent in the nether, I just guessed it was about three or four. Um, and like in that one, I counted eight actual days that definitely passed for a fact. That was when I discovered another place I had been that had had wood, which means I could have just gone down there, which was irritating. But yeah. So I kind of, um... I think I did it, but who knows, it's kind of up in the air, but this series isn't really concrete anyway, um, I don't think I'm gonna do an 100 days format in the next season, which should be relatively soon, probably within the next month, maybe longer, I'm, I don't know, um, but it was said that it was going to start um, once 1.21 came out, and it, it now has an actual release date, which is the 13th of June. I highly doubt it's gonna be within the same week, um, because obviously season 5 will have a bunch of plugins and stuff, so you're gonna have to wait until all those plugins update, but I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll all update really quickly, who knows. Um, I'm really excited for 1.21 though, I really really am, um, I wasn't, but with the newest updates about, um, well portals, you can now go through portals while on a, an entity, um, so if you went through a portal on a minecart, you'd come out the other side still on the minecart, same with horses, pigs, anything else you ride, which means you can also just ride a strider straight through the portal, which is cool. You can also now enter Pearl through portals, which is cool, and you keep your velocity but negate Pearl fall damage, um, which is really cool, uh, and it's just a yeah, cool way to teleport through por uh, portals. And the final thing that I'm really, really excited about, you can now lead boats, which is maybe doesn't sound that cool, first of all, it's cool, my only thought when I first saw that was about the decoration possibilities, the amount of times I've needed something to be lead, uh, like led, leaded, I don't know, to a fence post for the decoration of the lead is insane, and it's such a pain in the ass getting the animals in the right place, but with a boat I can just place it down. Um, and also just the, the look of boats tied down is pretty cool. Um, like with the, the turtle enclosure in the 1.20 world, I wanted to have the rafts, um, like lead on a fence post or something, but I couldn't do that obviously at the time. But the big thing is that now you can lead villagers. You can put the villagers in a boat and you can lead it, which is cool because now you can take two villagers by boat at a time 
you don't actually have to be in the boat anymore to move the boat. It's also cool because now it means you can fly with any mob that fits in a boat. I don't know if you've ever seen people do that, where you have a mob that you want to take it for a distance, so you elytra up with rockets and you go and you bring the mob up into the air and you have to land in water otherwise they will die of fall damage now and obviously the leads can break it's not reliable it's not great now you put them in the boat and you can just fly off with the boat and if the lead breaks the boat will just fall and that's fine because anything in boats don't take fall damage so also you don't have to hit water every time so now you can just drop them off onto the floor it's insane and i agree somebody said with these new updates i have no problem with the changes to villagers anymore and i entirely agree i didn't really care to be honest um, about the villager changes they're essentially just making it harder um, with villagers, it, yeah, they're just, I, don't, I can't remember, it's something, they're making them worse for, for, um, uh, what is it called? Balancing, for balancing reasons, they're making villagers worse, but now that we can just essentially move villagers really, really easily, I don't really care, because, yeah, now if you need to travel, like, hundreds of thousands of blocks you can do that via nether roof by um, going through it in the boat you can get into the boat drive the boat through the portal get out of the boat you can now lead the boat fly up into the air and just go until you hit your next portal and that saves <laughs> an immense amount of time because that's the thing people don't take into consideration before that amount of time or that journey wouldn't have been that bad because you could have the it wouldn't have been that bad because you could have like packed mud no packed ice <laughs> packed ice on the nether roof that you put the boat on and then it's actually relatively quick that doesn't take into account the fact that you have to set all that up beforehand now you don't even have to do that. You don't even have to have the portal done yet. You can just go to whatever coordinates you need to and then make the portal there. You don't have to set up a whole thing. And so it'll get rid of the setup time, but also will just significantly cut down the time of actually doing shit, which is really good. Um, yeah, it's really great. I really like these changes. Um, I don't really care for the trial chambers, but honestly, I don't know that anyone does, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I think some people really like them. I don't care. Um, I don't care in any way, but I'm really glad that we got, um, we got these changes, essentially. I'm glad that this is happening because it, uh, feels like... I'm trying to say it feels like a good change without um i don't know it's just good <laughs> it's just good okay um it's just really good for everything for moving animals for moving mobs for moving anything um yeah and i'm excited about it um pretty cool in my opinion um this is about done in a second, I'm on my way out of the mines. Um, there we go. Yeah, again, to my best abilities, I think we did 10 days. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so we're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to trust that it was 10 days. But I also don't know that anyone really cares that much. Because at best, this has been about 40, or no, this would have been like 33 days. At worst, this is 28 days. So, who cares? 
who cares, it's still a lot of Minecraft days. This is actually where I end the video, and then I end up finding those guys, the pillagers. I wasn't going to keep one as a pet, but or as a friend, he's not a pet. I wasn't going to keep one, but then I just decided to, because why not? Um, but I think that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.